Okay, so we've just looped over a list and we've just looped over a list of dictionaries or maps or hashes or whatever you want to call them. But what happens if you have just a simple map? Okay, so let's get rid of these two keywords. And instead, you actually have something like um, name is Mike, age 35. Uh, gender male okay so you've got these you've got these three keys here right and they've each got their own value how do you loop over that so what happens if we just loop over C let's see what happens what we get so we've now converted C into a into a map and now we get invalid data passed into the loop right because it requires a list and instead we got a map now actually look at um, looking at what it says here it does give us a bit of a hint if you pass the list slash dict of just one element try adding one list equals true to your lookup invocation or use a query instead of a lookup in our case that doesn't apply because what we actually need to do is we need to use a filter Okay, on our value on our list whereby we say we want to convert the dictionary to items so this basically is built into Ansible to filter that Ansible ships with and what we're going to do is we're going to pipe hence we've got the little pipe here whoops we got this little pipe here we're going to pipe that okay we're going to pipe our value into this filter and it will convert the dictionary into a list for us okay so if we go back to our code and then we go pipe dict to uh, items okay whoops okay dict to items exactly the same as what we have there and then we run it again now we will still have a map but it will be converted to a list for us and as we can see we actually executed six times in total because we have three items in the map remember we had three keys in our map okay we had um, we had gender we had age and we had um, we had name and that executed on all the, the slightly out of order here so it looks a bit weird because the dot seven three is here and then the other two are here but essentially we've got name here we've got gender here and we've got age over here so we've actually looped over the map and got each thing out but what if we just want to access either the key or the value well because so in this case item is actually set to a special case so we can't do dot name right because remember what happened last time when it didn't exist so item will equal effectively it will equal a map but it won't contain the key names in there Okay, this is really important to remember. If we try and do that, let's see what happens. So it just fails because that name doesn't exist. That's because when we do this, what's actually happening is it's doing a lot of work under the hood and it's actually producing a map like this. I'm going to demonstrate it, right? Key, name, value. Mike C, key, age, value, 35, okay, key, gender, sorry, key, gender, value, male, okay, if I comment that out because I don't want the two to clash, that's effectively what this is being converted into, so what does name need to be changed to if we want to access the key? key okay and we can go equals equals item dot value okay so it's doing a lot of work under the hood to make the values available to us in a very specific way so now they've executed again here 0.73 hello gender equals equals male hello age equals equals 35 and hello name equals equals mike c so in order for us to loop over a map we have to first convert it using the dict to items filter. We need to first convert it into a list and it will convert into a list 
of that nature. That's what the list. There'll be a list of maps which we which we looped over previously, and it will have key value pairs inside of there. And that is how you uh, that's how you loop over a map.